want to bring in Senator Peter Welch of Vermont. He joins us. When he called for President Biden to drop out, Welch said, in part, the good news is that President Biden has united the party and created a deep bench that can defeat Trump. Vice President Harris is capable, proven leader. Senator Welch serves on the Judiciary Committee and joins us now. Senator, good to see you. Will you, you. endorse the vice president to be the Democratic nominee? Uh, I'm not endorsing right now, and I'll tell you, it's really important for her. She's clearly, I think, in the process of clearing the field. But it's really important for us as Democrats to take advantage of the extraordinary energy that's been unleashed uh, by the president's decision to set, step aside and show that we're confident about engaging everyday Democrats to participate in this. Um, my view is that our nominee, in all likelihood, I think, Vice President Harris, is going to be strengthened by a process that's seen as open, uh, so that I think uh, it will be re really be terrific for her to make contact with everyday Democrats, not just uh, members of the Senate, House, and the governors. Senator, the election is four months away. You think you have time to have a primary? Well, it's not going to be a primary. The DNC is going to have to set up a truncated process. But I do think there's enormous unity. One of the gifts that President Biden gave us is a unified party on two issues. One is keeping Trump out of the White House, and the other is continuing his extraordinary legacy. So the various people who've been mentioned uh, all have embraced those two principles, and that's what unites Democrats. So this is not a situation like in 1968, where you had the pro-war and the anti-war Democrats at each other's throats. Uh, this is a convention where everyone is celebrating the extraordinary accomplishments of, of President Biden, the desire to continue those, uh, and the existential challenge we face of protecting our democracy by keeping Trump out of the White House. What effect do you think it has had during the Republican convention as the Republican Party was unified and putting together an indictment of the Biden-Harris administration that the Democratic Party was not able to mount a successful counter-argument and was essentially in disarray as this rebellion uh, was against the current sitting president? What effect does that have? You know, you know I think there's a place for candor in politics. And what we saw in that debate was that the aging process had cast its gaze on uh, President Biden. And it created a real uh, anxiety for us because we had a president we revered, whose record we really admired, uh, for whom we had great affection, uh, but where there was enormous doubt and where the election was going to be about his health as opposed to Trump's threat. And we dealt with it. And then, you know, it's a testament to President Biden's character that this man who's been intensely competitive, who's had to make decisions that affected him personally and politically, he had the office he loved, he loved the job and was doing a great job, but he ultimately came to the conclusion that it would be better for uh, the country if he stepped aside. And that takes a lot of humility. So we went through this. It was real. We did it openly. And the president has now given us space. So, you know, I think I think people understand that. And I think that candor in politics is a power uh, that we can use to our advantage because people think that's real. Senator Welch, Bob Costa here with Nora. You represent the state of Vermont. You know Senator Bernie Sanders so well. He ran for president in 2016 and 2020. He has told CBS in recent weeks he's focused on running for re-election, but did not rule out considering a bid should President Biden step away. Now that President Biden has stepped away from the nomination race, what can you tell us about whether you would support Sanders to think about running, whether you believe he will consider a run or not? What do you know? We really want to know candidly what you, you are hearing and what you believe will happen on the Sanders front, because you know, you know him so well. Well, I do, and I supported him. I supported Bernie in both those races. I think it's a totally different time, but I don't have any information. I haven't talked to Senator Sanders uh, since all of us just got this news, so I don't know. You'll have to check with him. I supported in those two in those two races proudly. I think he has made an incredible contribution. He was very close to President Biden, uh, who leaned on him, uh, but I don't know what he's going to do. Would you encourage him, though, or not? Is it time for Vice President Harris to be the nominee, or would you encourage someone with his stature and him specifically to run or not? 
you know, I'm not certain that, that I would support. I would encourage Bernie to do it. You know, he he's as old as uh, he's older, I think, than Vice President Biden. So age is an issue. 